Today we're going to discuss the process of sporulation in Bacillus subtilis. Let's start with some background information about this bacterium. Bacillus subtilis, also known as hay or grass bacillus, is a gram-positive, catalase-positive bacterium. It is rod-shaped and an obligate aerobe. Bacillus is commonly found in soil and in the gut of humans. Bacillus is also known for its ability to form a tough protective endospore. Now let's get into sporulation. Sporulation occurs when a bacterium cannot find the nutrients it needs to survive or when the population of that type of bacterium is too dense. When bacillus is experiencing favorable conditions, it undergoes the vegetative life cycle. The cell will continuously elongate, replicate its DNA, and divide by binary fission. Once conditions become unfavorable, the cell begins sporulation. The cell switches to the first step of sporulation, known as asymmetric cell division, due to an increase in the concentration of FTSZ and the synthesis of a sporulation-specific protein called SPO-IIE. During the cell division, a septum made up of two membranes form. This separates the larger mother cell from the fourth spore, which contains newly replicated DNA and some cytoplasm. The two membranes close around the fourth spore. The mother cell has now engulfed it, creating the endospore. A cortex of calcium and dipicolinic acid is deposited between the membranes and the spore coat forms around the endospore. Now the endospore matures and becomes more resistant to heat and chemicals by an unknown process. Once the endospore has matured, the mother cell lyses and the endospore is released. When conditions become favorable, the endospore goes on to germinate, producing new vegetative cells. In order to better understand the process of sporulation, correlate it to the following story. There is a mom and a mama's boy. As the boy grows older, he distances himself from his mom by putting up an emotional barrier. In order to rekindle the lost connection, she engulfs him with love. His emotional barrier eventually becomes so strong that he breaks away and she dies of a broken heart. The son goes on to live his life. As a final review, let's briefly go over the steps one more time. As a cell goes into the sporulation cycle, it first goes through asymmetric cell division, where a septum is formed between the four spore and the mother cell. Then, the mother cell engulfs the four spore, and the two membranes now surround it. A spore coat forms around the four spore, creating an endospore. The endospore matures, and eventually the mother cell lyses, and the endospore is free to germinate. Thanks for watching. Good luck on your finals.